we looked at a lot of businesses over a number of months. I mean, we I think we looked at the whole span. We looked at brick and mortar businesses, home-based businesses, residential services. I mean, we we even briefly talked about, you know, things like entertainment and a bakery business for a little bit. We looked at business services. I mean, I think we covered covered the spectrum of the sorts of businesses that people can look at. And will you share a little bit about what did that help you do or what did that mean for you? How did it um, aid you in your ultimate decision process? Or maybe what did you learn about yourselves by virtue of looking at all these different business ideas that we did? Uh, you mentioned bakeries. So first we started looking at things that we thought we would be interested in from a passion perspective or a hobby perspective. Um, and and then we looked at other things that we felt like we had skill sets in already that we could carry forward. Um, and then we looked at our goals, both for the near term day to day for running a business and then long term where we where we saw ourselves kind of in the five to 10 year range. And the, the journey really was weaving in and out of those things and prioritizing what is the most important to us in selecting a business. So it did take us on a nonlinear path uh, through different types of businesses. And, um, you know, we really had to take a look at, is this going to work for us? This sounds great, but is this going to work for us? And a big part of that is diving deep in with the due diligence and talking to franchisees to understand, you know, where are their highs, where are their lows, and how does that sit with us? So that was almost a gut check every time we got down the, the path there to understand if that was something, a challenge that we were okay with going forward with, or no, that really doesn't align with our interests, values, or you know, things like that. 